What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and we're back again. Now, if you know anything about the Flipper Zero community, it's the fact that they are always pushing the boundaries, coming out with new, amazing things. Now, I've been in the official Discord Q&A a bunch of times listening about the new updates for 1.0. One of the things that they've really talked about was a app store where you could download apps. Well, it's still not version 1.0 yet, but the community has come up with a solution. Well, today we're gonna to be taking a look at flipperc.org. It's an online app store that installs apps directly to the Flipper. You don't have to do anything except for click install. It's the coolest thing ever. So sit back, relax, let's get at it. So here we are at flipperc.org. It's uh, actually made by a guy named Alexei Korolev, also going by apparently the name of Playmeet. And you can see all the cool apps that are in the app store. It's organized between you know different categories, GPIO, USB, games, media tools, etc. But they're all right here, just waiting to be downloaded. All you actually have to do is go into whatever category or whatever file you want to. We're gonna to go to the video player for today. And right now I do have my flipper plugged in. So it's plugged into the USB-C and plugged into the computer. I'm running the development version. So it's you know important to know that. You can also change to Unleashed or Rogue Master if you want to. So depending upon what firmware you're using, it's super simple, super easy. And then all you gotta do is click install. Shabang. And then literally, it just opens on your flipper. That's all you have to do. It's so simple. Now, let me go back to the main page and show you some other stuff that happens in the background. So if we load something like this, when we change it over to development, it's actually going to build the app for you. So in the background, it's actually building this application based on the channel and the firmware that you're running. So we'll let that wait for just a second. And then we can install this one the same way we did the last one. All we gotta do is click install and it's done. It's absolutely amazing. Go back to the middle and you can literally go through and download any app you want to this way. Now, there are some apps that will not compile correctly. Um, for one reason or another, there's a backend issue because it's actually pulling these directly from the GitHub repositories where these uh, applications actually live. Now you can see this one's actually just stuck on building. It's been like this for a while. So let's go back to the main page. And then let's see if anything else wants to not work correctly. Let's see if I can remember one that I remember didn't want to compile. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if barcode generator is good. Nope, that one's good. Uh, flip a gotcha. Nope, that works too. Buzzer. I mean, yeah, because in, in general, this stuff all works really quite well. So I know over here I ran into something that didn't work. No, or maybe he fixed everything. It's possible. Uh, Ocarina. Nope, that works. This works. <laughs> everything works now that I want to find something that doesn't work. Even Bad Apple, which I know if you install that, it's not going to work properly. We're not going to try you. Um, extra demo. There we go. So this is the one that's got a compiler error. And again, this happens sometimes. Really not a big deal. But in the future, I'm sure these little issues will be fixed. One of the other cool things you can do is actually build based off of a GitHub repository. So let me go ahead and find a repository for an application. And we'll see if we can get it to compile. So we're going to go ahead and navigate our way over to the repository for the video player we already downloaded. Now, you do have to find where the application.fam files live. So we're gonna open up right here, Flipper Project, and there's our application.fam. Go ahead, copy this URL, drop it right here, and it's gonna actually populate this list for you right there. And we gotta remember that we're on the dev build and hit the button. It's gonna go ahead and start compiling it. It's actually already finished because we think it's already buffered. And then we can click install again. We already did it, but again, it's that easy, super simple. I love this app store. Everybody's gotta go check it out if you haven't already. It's flipperc.org. So speaking of the video player itself, this thing is awesome. People have been working on projects like this for a while. Uh, I've seen people trying to make Bad Apple and other things, but there's never actually been a video player that works. Uh, this one uses FFMPGs, and actually if we go over here, there is the uh, instructions on how to make your own. 
So you just gotta go through, follow these. It's not crazy hard. I haven't made one myself yet, but I think in the future I probably will. But either way, this thing's super cool, so let me show you how it works. So I can start steering in QFlipper, just to show you, you know, the file structure, not the file structure, but how to get there. Uh, but it actually doesn't play through QFlipper. So I'm gonna go to Applications, and we're gonna go down to Media. This is on the latest Squatchware release, in case you were curious. We can open the video player, and then we can go ahead and open up our files. So let me show you Bad Apple, because I know I won't get copyright striked with the audio. So I'll open this, and unfortunately, you can't see anything right here. So I'm going to switch to the other camera, and I'll show you what's happening. All right, cool. So I've got it going on the flipper. Let me just make sure we open this video play. All right, and I'm going to go with bad Apple to start off with. I'm going to do manual focus so we can actually see what's going on. But, of course, manual focus is harder than I think it is. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, this is actually playing the bad Apple video. It's so sick. Now, let me show you some other ones too. But what's cool is you can barely hear it. It's so quiet, but it does autofocus have audio. Yeah, you can't hear it, but it's actually playing the audio from it. Let me open up another video and you can kind of get a feel for some of the other stuff going on. So we have the old Rick Roll. Whoop, you can't see, but yeah, it's actually a working video player and it plays pretty okay, if you ask me. I mean, as somebody who, autofocus, who makes animations and stuff for Flipper Zero, it's actually really hard getting the one bit color to work. So whatever tomfoolery they got going on on this thing is absolutely awesome. So yeah, those are some pretty cool things that we ran into on Flipper Zero recently. The App Store makes it easier than ever to compile and install your own applications. What's cool is that even as it updates, even as uh, Flipper up updates come out, Uber had all these files stored, but they're really hard to keep up on. And if there's you know updates, there could be API mismatches, which I get asked about constantly. This allows you to actually compile the firmware for the latest releases, which is absolutely awesome. And yeah, the video player, I've wanted to see something like this for literally since I got a flipper. And I know how hard it is getting video and then getting audio that syncs up correctly at the right speed. It's a lot more complicated, or at least it has been in the past. So seeing this video player come out is so cool. I want to thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll be back with a brand new series, Skid School. Keep an eye out. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.